guys gen 7 here um so this video we're gonna be talking about drift drag or show what I mean by that which car would you actually want so I got my list here and we'll be going through this together so let's continue so here's how it's gonna be um for a drift drag or show you're gonna really want to know what you want from your car do you want your car? Do you do you like the energy of drifting? Do if you ever take lost control of your back tires and you skid, do you like that? Or do you like going really really fast? Or do you just want your car to look hella sexy? So for a drift car, you know, there's not a lot of things that will break in your drift car. There will be stuff that does dr break because you are putting strain on your components like your axles, your tires, your calipers. There's a lot of things that will break that are not motor oriented, as I can tell you. So some things you would want to look forward to maintenancing are things like your cooling system. You don't want to go on the track and you have a stock cooling system with a turbo, let's say. If you're going to go on the track with a turbo, you don't want to have some stock cooling system. You want to have a better radiator because if you're going on stock, everything's stock, it's better to have normal stuff. You don't need it for the time being, but you'd want to make sure you change all, out all your fluids because certain things have certain boiling points and you're full throttling your car. You don't want your car to, you don't want to have to, how do I say this? You don't want your car to break in the middle of the track. You don't want it to catch fire because you had something that you had a maintenance, but you're like, oh, let me just go out and, you know, live it till the end. Another thing, you're going to waste tires. You're going to waste a lot of tires because you're drifting. Your tires will skid on the floor. You're going to lose traction. Some things you'll look forward to actually getting into is a hydro brake. A hydro brake is better than an e-brake because an e-brake runs on a wire. A hydro brake runs on actual brake fluid. Brake lines, braided lines you would, you would want. You don't want plastic lines for a hydro brake because you they will get hot and they'll bulge up meaning you'll lose some of that braking power. You won't lose a significant amount but they're, they're worse. So on a hydro brake it sits wherever you want it technically. Um, but sometimes you'd want it closer to you right next to your emergency brake emergency brake being because in the case that a hydro brake doesn't work you still have your e-brake along with the hydro brake you would want to get into maybe dual caliper setup for that hydro brake one caliper set up for the e-brake the other one is going to be set up for the hydro brake so when you engage your hydro brake you'll pull it the hydro brake will actually lock on the e-brake will stay there and well depending how you set it up you could set it up that the hydro brake locks both or the e-brake locks one and the hydro brake locks one it depends all how you set it up some other things you look for to getting is a roll cage roll cage being if you're taking off everything in your car it's very light when you're taking corners you you might um flip or or significantly hit your car against something you don't want to get crushed in your car Another thing are that not really needed, um, but you should look forward to a performance exhaust, angle kits, uh, sh short ram shifters. It's better shifting. Racing seats are a good thing to get when you're sh when you're going into drags and um, drift cars, and coilovers. Drop your car, lower center of gravity. Gra there you go. Okay, why do you want to go into drifting? That's all on you. You have to figure out what you really want. I can't tell you what you want to look for. If you, if I tell you I want drifting but you want drag, I'm not going to try to lead you onto it. You're going to have to figure this stuff out for years. reason I want drifting 
I like the um, losing grip off the floor. It's a good feeling. I've always wanted to do it. I do it sometimes. Have a front wheel, so I kind of just have to do it in mud. Now for a drag car slash track, you will be breaking a lot of stuff, a lot of motor components. Some of the things you might break: a oh, water pump, pulleys, alternators. Um, your turbos, um, how about a head gasket or a piston? Most of those things, you'll need to maintenance. Water pump, you're going to very need some maintenance that along with your cooling system. Why are you going to need to maintenance that? You need to cool your car because you're, you're really pushing your car to the limit. You're shooting out 15 PSI. If you're, if you're pushing out 15 and you have a stock intercooler with, um, some... Let's say you got some upgraded radiator, it's not going to work. You need a good radiator with a good intercooler. You can't run a shitty radiator with a, with an okay intercooler and you're pushing 15 PSI going 155. It's not going to work. The cooling's not going to keep up. You're going to strain almost everything in your motor. So, what you'd want to do, upgrade. You don't have to buy the most expensive thing. Just upgrade a little bit so it can it can help you in the long run you're gonna always need to do maintenance always need to buy new tires um it's it's a bit more costly than a drift car because you are trying to get the best time so you could still buy a good amount of things and get a good drag car but it'll take you time if you don't just get that in a weekend okay another thing you'd want to look forward to is buying a helmet it will be um, better to get braided lines. Um, a sway bar is not necessarily needed. Don't know why I wrote that down. As I said, cooling system and the events. You will also need money for the events to go to them. They're not cheap. They're not. They're like forty and up, as what I've seen. Now for a show car, it could be either the least expensive or the most expensive. Meaning, um, I'm gonna make this fast. So you. You might, might want a wide body it. That's not a lot. That's about a grand. It's a grand to get a full wide body kit. And let's say you want 10 TVs in your car with the loudest speaker system. You can get that. I'm not saying you can't. It's going to be expensive. Now, if you want a wide body it, put a little bit of camber and drop it to the floor with some nice coilovers. You can do that. It's not going to be so expensive. And you could put a good stereo system good ass paint job it's gonna look nice and who knows you may win a couple awards you don't need such an amazing car 10 grand on the on just stereo systems stereo systems and other things you don't need all that so what I'm saying is it could either be the most expensive or the least expensive me personally I honestly wanted to make a, a race car but nah I'm okay Race car also goes into the category of track. It's the same thing. All the only difference is you're gonna be winning stuff and not losing money. Track is more. You just do it for the fun of it. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoy and.